goal is to make that camp as, as great as it can be. We do the high school camp uh, for the 9th through the 11th graders, um, advanced camp for seniors, and then we have the middle school camp that we're doing this week right now uh, for 6th through 8th graders. There is a pretty extensive application process they go through. Um, they have to submit their grades, they get recommendation letters from teachers. It's super similar to the application process that we did to get here. Um, they basically just don't have to do an interview. What we actually do is, is take a little bit from every course basically that, that we've learned through our first and second years of, of school. I, I ask them every day at the end of the day, so what did you learn today? Did you enjoy that? What was your favorite thing? And surprisingly, they, they don't always tell me the animal stuff. Sometimes they say, uh, getting to learn all the things that you get to learn, the surgery stuff, um, you know, just learning about different diseases or, or processes. They, they really take to the information uh, a lot more than you, you think a child would. Uh, the most beneficial thing I think about vet camp, um, I wish we had it when I was a kid, but um, we didn't, unfortunately. We've only done this a few years, but the kids begin to understand that um, there is a lot involved in the process and it, it is a lifelong commitment. Uh, not only is it you know, a financial commitment, it is a time commitment, it is a lifestyle commitment. So I think a lot of the kids are able to start seeing early on, is this something they truly want to invest their time and their study habits and, and their finances in. So we didn't have anything like vet camp when I was their age, especially when I was in middle school. And I think it's super beneficial because they actually get to come here and see what we do. So you know, you kind of you see a veterinarian in their office, but you don't you don't see what the education is like. And a lot of kids decide that they don't want to go be a veterinarian after they see what vet school's like. And they get to kind of see behind the behind the curtain. You know, will they like going into pathology and seeing specimens? Will they like dealing with the cows? Because we have to deal with all the animals. We don't just get to pet puppies and kittens all day. We actually get to have to treat all the animals. So I think it's super helpful for them to decide if this is for them or not early so they don't spend all this time working towards it and then get to vet school and decide it's not what they want to do. I think it's great. It's a great opportunity just even outside of veterinary medicine. I mean, they when they came in here on the first day, none of them knew each other and they all kind of sat separately and they were pretty quiet. And now at the end of the week, they've kind of formed these circle of friends and they've become really close with their team. They have so many questions. It's amazing to me that a child is already considering so much about their future and why not nurture that?